What's up everybody, welcome back for our next review. Today's review, we're going to continue with the brand that I had last review was a Mark Twain. If you haven't seen that, go back and take a look at that one. But I am continuing with the cigar I found on, uh, cigar brand I found on Cigar Internationals, and that is the Mark Twain. Uh, I did the memoir last, and in the past I've done their Connecticut. Now I'm doing the last one that they have available through Cigar International, and that's called the Riverboat. Now the Riverboat is a smaller Robusto. Uh, they have just the one size, and it is a barber pole, so it does feature a Connecticut and Maduro wrapper. Now the binder and filler is Nicaraguan, uh, so it is going to be uh, a good smoke if you like the Maduros and you like Connecticut and you're right about the middle. This is perfectly because it is uh, rated as a medium strength cigar and a medium profile cigar. So it's right there in the middle. It gives you the best of the memoir and gives you the best of their Connecticut. It's put together ultimately is the way, I, the way I've uh, sampled the cigars and the, after I've had a couple of these, that's what it tastes like. They just took their two uh, and made it more of a medium. So that way they have a mild, medium, and a full strength cigar uh, for their consumer. With that said, you can see here it is features a Mark Twain uh, photo, and it is a great looking barber pole. I know uh, the barber poles have been popular over the last few years, but I know the Robusto size is what a lot of guys prefer. Now on CI, they are selling fast. I'm not sure how much they have limited to it, uh, but you can get a box of Robustos for $59.95. Now I'm looking at the site as of today and I'm showing you there is a Churchill and there is a Robusto but they do show that they are back ordered on everything but a Toro size which is a 6x5 or 6x50. As I said this is a 5x50 that I'm featuring a Robusto. But with that said, you can find it there, you can take a look, you can order it, you can wait for it, it's up to you. I'm guessing because of just the Nicaraguan tobacco and just the way things are going with uh, customs and things, they're just not getting the cigars to the U.S. fast enough for the consumer. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and cut it up. I'll be back with the pre-draw of the Mark Twain Riverboat. All right, everybody, welcome back for the pre-draw. I'm trying to enjoy the weather that we got here in Arizona going on. I got a little bit of rain going on today, which is something that's far and in between in the summer. It is getting closer to our fall monsoons, more weather, but it just doesn't seem like it's been so. Instead of sitting outside 100 degree weather, I'm trying it with uh, 90 degree weather, which is not that much, but the humidity does help it feel a little warmer. <laughs> anyway, beside the point, well, we're going to go ahead and with the the pre-draw I have did a straight cut on the Robustos I prefer those on the smaller rain gauge cigars it just seems the rest become real messy again that's your preference you could either do a punch you could do a V cut or you could do a straight cut or however else you, you smoke your cigars but with that said I'm gonna go ahead getting an alfalfa profile almost uh, probably the Nicaraguan I'm tasting from the middle there is a light, faint profile of, of raisin. There's a little bit of a sweetness. But it is fairly faint. It is a real medium strength, I can tell. There's not lots of dimension to it, which is fine. It's just, it'll be more of a straight uh, idea. Now with that, I was curious to, you know, I know that Mark Twain is an American writer and everybody likes him, but I knew he was a cigar smoker. Now, I didn't know, and here's a bit of fact if you didn't know, there's rumor that the man smoked between 20 and 40 cigars daily. I gotta say that, I, I'm impressed. I mean, that's two bundles a day. <laughs> I don't think I have it in my lung capacity to do something like that. But it could be something chalked up to making the legend. Uh, but I do know guys that smoke quite a few in a day. I mean, me personally, the most I've ever smoked in a day is four. But that's me. Hey, more power to whatever you think you like. All right, with that, like I said, really good draw. 
hardly any resistance with the straight cut we're gonna go ahead and light this up and get into that first third initially on the first third I'm gonna go ahead and torch it up a little bit getting a really good draw the bird is doing well out of the ones that I've had so far I haven't had any issues with construction the only construction is if I cut it too low and it started to unravel so be fairly aware of that I did have a question posed to me last week saying if I can't finish this cigar what do I do can I just pick it up and smoke it that's up to you I'm not a big fan of burnt cigar ash flavor going through the rest of my cigar what I normally do and I probably have showed this before but I take my straight cutter I find that where I'm at I'm just above where the burn line is I cut off all the ash it might have a little bit in the middle uh, but that's okay with me I'll put it in a ziplock bag if I'm going to store it back in the humidor uh, just so it doesn't give that burnt uh, flavor or that burnt smell and taste to all the other cigars that haven't been smoked but that's what I do and for that for that person that's the comment I left you I hope that helped you uh, I know I'm not a big fan of wanting to waste cigars after I spend good money on them regardless of their price point unless it's a total uh, catastrophe with the, the way the construction of the cigar is all right with that said though I'm getting a real medium body profile It's not so much in your face pepper or any type of uh, earthy profiles that you normally get with uh, a, a full strength cigar or a medium to full. It is definitely a cigar you can smoke if you're not a big cigar smoker or if you're new to it and you're being careful on how strong you want it. Something you can smoke after dinner, something you can smoke with your coffee in the morning. It is a decent, uh, like I said, budget cigar. And again, you can get that on Cigars International. Now, I have been asked too, why do I use them? I use websites sometimes because it's just cheaper for me and my, my budgets that I have. I do support the brick and mortars as you've seen in the past. I've even featured some of them. And you can go back and check those out, the shop reviews. Now, there are a couple of shops, I'm sad to say, that I have seen closed since I've done those reviews in the last weeks. And one of those, if you have been to Stag of Metro in Phoenix, it is now closed. And Ye Old Pipe, and, uh, Ye Old Pipe Tobacco Shoppy is also closed at 12th Street in Campbell. But you, you guys, you got to help support those shops. I know it's tough for them and has been for the last few months. But if you can get into your local shop and help support them, do that. Uh, if you are on a budget, I understand. But that's just my little soapbox moment. But with that said, this cigar is going to be a definitely a great uh, smoke for the mild smoker or someone who's wanting to go a little bit stronger from the mild. With that said, we're going to keep puffing through it. I'll be back with the second third right after this of the Mark Twain Riverboat. All right, everybody. Welcome back for the second third of the Mark Twain Riverboat. Now in the second third, you can see... Uh, the burn isn't razor sharp, but it hasn't had to be touched up, and the uh, the ash falls off pretty easily. It's not real flaky, so you don't have to really really worry about it falling on you. Uh, but it is not uh, hold, it doesn't hold up as long as some cigars have, if that's something you check. But other than that, it's a enjoyable smoke. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the band off now. Uh, but the profile, the only thing I've noticed increased a little bit is a little more of a black pepper spice on the back of the palate and I'm guessing that's because of the binder and filler and part of the wrapper uh, being Nicaraguan and that is again as you've heard me say or for those who've never seen one of my videos uh, the black pepper is contributed usually uh, by the volcanic soil in Nicaragua so <laughs> that's a little reason why the cigars there seem to be a little bit stronger than other other regions of the world 
With that said, we're going to keep puffing through it. I'll be back with the final third and my final thoughts of the Mark Twain Riverboat right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back for the final third of our review of the Mark Twain Riverboat. In the final third, the cigars stayed about the same throughout the, uh, the profile strength-wise and flavor. Nothing's really changed. Nothing's got any more stronger. It is definitely a medium-strength cigar, so something if you want to be ambitious and try that, that's great. If you love medium-strength cigars, then this might be just what you're looking for. With that said, everything all in all, as you can see, like I said, it doesn't burn razor sharp, but it has had a great burn. No touch-ups throughout the whole experience. No construction issues, and I have to say it has a great draw. For the budget cigar that it is, it is definitely something you should check out and get some of. The Robustos, again, are the size I have tried here. Uh, they do have a Toro and they do have a Churchill. Uh, but I know that those two are on back order, so you may want to uh, get on that list if you really want that size. They have some other sizes, like I said, those other ones you can check out. Uh, but with that said, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. Thanks again for tuning in to Cigars and Whiskey. As always, have a great day, have a great smoke, and I will see you next time.